Looks like we had some competition, guys. <laughs> uh -oh. Yo, uh -oh. it's Fred again. Uh -oh. It's always Fred. <laughs> it's again. always Fred. 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 We just got done busking um, this morning. I'm freaking tired, but uh, we're about to count the money. So let's uh -oh. get it. It's my favorite part. It's my favorite part of the entire process. Uh -oh. So I came home, um, did some editing, did a lot of editing, took a nap. I've been, it's been a great day. I feel so much more rested. Uh, and I'm gonna be editing yesterday's vlog as well, so we'll be doing a double upload. Oh, I'll be editing today's vlog, actually. I just uploaded yesterday's vlog. Um, and so we'll get a double upload today and we get back on track for 30 days TVK. But anyway, I'm walking down the stairs and I see a box. Let's see what's in it. It's a care package from my mommy. <gasps> Look at all the food. And some tea, some sleepy time tea so I can actually go to sleep. <laughs> Yay! Hey mama. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I wanted to call and let you know I got the care package. Thank you. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so just got off the phone with my mama. I love my mama. And uh, yeah, and so now the day is pretty much over. So what I'm gonna do, since today was super lame, I really didn't do anything today except sleep and busk. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little ditty for you. I'm going to play a Bach Cell Sweet Movement, and then we're going to have a fireside chat. Then we'll end the episode. And tomorrow, we're going to start brand new. I have to teach more lessons tomorrow, and, and I'm meeting up with a friend. So, yeah. Tomorrow's going to be more eventful. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Fireside Chat's a little different today. Actually, I'm here on Instagram Live, too. Woo! Say hi to the vlog. Y'all are on the vlog. Woo! <laughs> One second. One second. 155 people. What? This is insane. Okay, so I had a question in the chat asking me about how to prepare for competitions. Okay, guys. Preparing for competitions is the same way that you would prepare for an audition, except in a way it's actually kind of even more intense. When you're in a competition, your mindset's gonna be a little bit different. When you're in a competition, you need to make sure your musical ideas are as clear as possible. The way I like to think about musical ideas, I like to personify musical ideas as a beautiful backdrop, a beautiful scenery, if you will. And I like to pretend that the audition is in a bathroom, and the judges need to see your beautiful musical ideas out the bathroom window. And your musical ideas, like I said, are the scenery. Now, if you have a really dirty, foggy mirror, that those, those 
splotches and the fog are akin to the mistakes that you make, the different uh, anxieties that you have. What you need to go into doing is making sure that your musical ideas are so beautiful already. What you need to do when you're going for competition is figure out a way to clean that window. You need to get rid of as many mistakes as possible. Get rid of as many things that distract from your musical ideas. Because that's all mistakes are, that's all flubs are, that's all anxiety is, it's distractions from your ability to tell your story clearly. In order to create a performance that is clear and is palpable and is and is resonant with an audience in a competition, you need to have performed it at least a dozen times. You need to be so comfortable with the piece that even if on the off chance that you get in your own head about something, that your body knows how to work under pressure. And that only comes with performing. Have you ever performed once and been like, oh God, that was crazy. The first time's always the worst. But then have you ever gone back and performed the same piece again? It's a little bit better. And then the third time, it's a little bit better. The fourth time, okay, I think I'm now almost getting the hang of this performing thing. That's what's going on in your brain. You need to get used to that. It's like jumping into a pool of water. On the first hot summer day, and your pool is ice cold and you're jumping in head first. It's gonna feel very uncomfortable. So what you have to do is you have to acclimate to your surroundings. You have to get used to performing that piece. And then the more you do it, the better you will do. Regardless, regardless of all of your nerves. And now, so here, here's a one tactic that I think is very helpful whenever I get really nervous and I'm in a competition. Okay, so what I do is I, whenever I get on stage, I give myself as much time as possible. Give yourself time to think, to breathe, to feel the space, and then find one thing with your eye and stare at it. Stare at that one thing throughout the entire duration. Direct all of your energy, every fiber of your being towards that little point. It could be a light bulb. It could be somebody's toe. Like, it could be, uh, you know, it could be literally, it could be one of the wheels of the piano. But it doesn't really matter. But what, what I think really helps is when you have that singular focus and you're not dispersed over all of the different pairs of eyes that are looking at you, if you focus all of your attention on one thing, it can help you settle yourself mentally. And I'm telling you, 100% of competition, competition I mean, yes, it's the preparation, but the 100% in the moment is mental. And if you don't train yourself mentally, you will not, you will not make it happen. So, anyway, that's Fireside Chat for you. <laughs> well, what'd you think of that? That was kind of cool. At least I thought it was. Um, and if you want to actually, I think I want to try that one more time. So, uh, be sure you're following me on Instagram and you have my notifications on so you know exactly when I go live. And I think tomorrow I'm going to go live one more time and ask you guys on my live stream what the next fireside chat should be. Besides, I'm almost at 100K. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for coming around with me today. I know today was so lame, but guess what? I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to play, homie, play.